you are going to have circumstances in three realms that may cause you concern. Maybe it's happening right now. Maybe it happened last year. You're still doing dealing with the remnants. Maybe it's going to happen this year. It's going to be in the realm of health. It's going to be in the realm of finances or it's going to be in the realm of relationships. Those are the three biggies. Those are the areas that Satan comes. And those are the areas that we pray most to God about. Health, finances, relationships. Let me ask you this question. Are you in a circumstance that you can't get out of? And you've actually come to the point where you sit and think, even God can't get me out of this mess. I'm going to remind you of something. God used ravens to feed Elijah. I'm going to remind you that God looked at the waters of the Red Sea, snapped his fingers and they opened up wide. I'm going to remind you, if you think a circumstance is too big for God, I'm going to remind you that there were five loaves of bread. I don't know if it's gluten free or not, but there were five loaves of bread and there were two tiny fish. And by the time God was through and the snap of his finger, 10,000 people were being fed. You're in a circumstance you think is too big for God. Spend a little bit of time in God's word. Look at the, all the stories in there. And all of a sudden you say, oh, my goodness gracious. If he could do that and that and that and that and that, my situation, he can handle in the snap of a finger. Was not God the one who used four words to create an entire universe? You think your circumstance is too big for God? And he says, let there be light. And all of a sudden, here's a universe with not just one sun shining on planet Earth, but with trillions of suns and trillions of galaxies and trillions of solar systems. Whatever your circumstance is, you wake up in the morning, you see the face of God and you lift up your prayers to him. It'll be no problem for God because he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. Have his peace. Amen.